it's Amelia happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel where today I have decided to redecorate a little bit um, I recently helped host a bridal shower for one of my friends and we did like a cream peach boho vibe and it was so fun thrifting pieces for this shower I was like I think I need to redecorate my whole house <laughs> because I was like, this is so cute. So I'm gonna show you the thrifted finds and tell you how much they were and all that. Um, but I was looking around my living room and I have a lot of color, which I love, but I was kind of wanting a little bit less color. So I think I'm gonna go buy some fabric and make some pillowcases to recover all of these, all these pillows. So let's go buy some fabric. So in addition to making some new pillow covers today, I want to refresh the living room space for spring. Just incorporate these thrifted finds from my friend's shower and just switch it up. You know, you gotta change your decor every once in a while. Make a new look for spring. So here's how the living room looks now. I kind of have it random right now and I'm gonna just take everything off and start fresh. So what I like to do when I'm redecorating is just kind of take everything off of the mantle and all of the surfaces and kind of pile it in the middle of the floor so I can get kind of a look at what I've got and rearrange and then this lets me dust, you know, the blank canvas for the new decor. So I have literally no plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna start like rearranging and putting stuff up randomly and let's see how it turns out. So here are the decor pieces that we used in my friend's bridal shower. So I thrifted these kind of peach decor feathers on Facebook Marketplace. And I got two packs and I think it was like $25 for those. And then I found these gorgeous woven rattan trays. So two of them have this bamboo edge here. And then the third one has more of a straight edge. They are so cute. One of these was 99 cents and the other two were about $2 from Goodwill and from a Peddler's Mall. And then I found these four vases. So I've got this one that's from a Peddler's Mall. It's got like a crack off-white color. It's just so pretty and it was around seven, six, seven dollars. Then I found this giant like paper mache, like it weighs nothing. I think you're supposed to paint it. It's like from a craft store and it was like four dollars at the Peddler's Mall and I thought it was so cool. Then the vase that started all uh, the peach dreams for the shower was this peach vase that I found at Goodwill. And on camera, it's coming off a little bit like light pink, but it's like a true peach in person. And it is so pretty and I love the shape of it. And I believe it was $4, $3.99 at Goodwill. And then the last vase that I found is this really, really cool, I guess it's like Grecian, um, Grecian style. And it has this really cool texture, like cementy and like textured and just really cool. And I just love the two handles. I just think it is so beautiful. And it was, um, this one was the most expensive at $11 from the Peddler's Mall, but totally worth it for how cute it is. And then uh, my sister did these floral arrangements with these like wooden flowers that I found at a Kroger um, and then supplemented them with some dried uh, grasses and flowers, some of the feathers. So they just like all came together and I might change some of the floral decorations. Yeah, it looks pretty darn adorable, especially I just love this face so much. So we're gonna use all of these and all of these and we don't have to use everything obviously, but I'm gonna use all of it to piece together a new style for the living room. So I'm definitely not a professional decorator in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I just like to rearrange stuff for fun and, you know, I watched my fair share of HGTV growing up, so I feel like some part of me is an interior designer. So the main thing I do when I'm decorating is kind of go with the main theme, so I've been kind of leaning into the boho. I don't even know, it's not minimalism because I like a lot of things, but it's like more calming colors and I'm into the gold frames, a lot of plants. I've been um, buying some neutral tone things. So just really into neutrals and having little pops of color here and there, which is why I really wanted to cover up my pillows with a more cream, 
a more muted tone so that the colors like my floral couch and like the rug and some other colors in the room could really pop more and not be as overwhelming you know just taking away a few of the colorful things will make the colorful things that I've left pop even more I don't know why it's really hard for me to say the word colorful right now <laughs> Hey, Flubber. Where are you going? You want to be in the video? Mm, no. No paparazzi. So I tried to decorate kind of sparsely to leave room for, you know, my cup of tea and stuff like that. So. Um, I really love these bamboo trays that I found at the thrift store. I was so over the moon when I found them and they are just so cute with plants and little vases styled on them and then the one on the mantle I styled um, leaning up against the mirror which I thought looked really cute and just created kind of another layer that brought together the brown tones in the room it kind of connected with the gold tones another thing i have to think about is making sure all my plants are in front of the windows because i have a lot of plants and i like to rearrange all of my stuff but you got to make sure your plants are still getting light well i'm gonna make some fun little envelope style pillow covers for my throw pillows so that they'll all match and be neutral and just bring a little bit more calm to the living room so the first pillow i'm gonna do is this little guy that i bought at a thrift store and the first thing that we need to do is measure the length and the width and this is a square pillow so they will be the same so you measure from one seam to the other and it's 12 inches on my pillow and it's square so it'll be 12 again so i watched this youtube tutorial on how to make an envelope pillow cover from jan newton and she has this formula that is the width of your piece of fabric is going to be your pillow size times two. So for me, that would be 12 times two is 24 plus five. And then the length of your piece of fabric, it's just gonna be the size of your insert. Which honestly, I think she meant it the other way around because width is the short side and then the length is the long side. So I think she meant it the other way around, but I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so what's next is to turn your fabric wrong side down. So basically you're gonna have the right side of the fabric inside the pillowcase when you sew it so that when you turn it inside out, the right side will be outside. So for my fabric, there's not really a right or wrong side. So I'm just gonna pick the side that's less wrinkly because I did not feel like ironing this fabric. I'm doing something a little different from the YouTube tutorial that I watched because in the tutorial, she took the edge of the fabric and created a nice hem. Um, I don't really, I'm not doing that <laughs> because uh, I think that the raw edges are kind of cool, honestly, so we're not doing that. But if you had a fabric that was going to really unravel, you'd probably want to do that. I am using the edge of the fabric that has this really cool fraying on it. This is just how it was on the bolt. It's like the very end of the fabric. So I'm kind of using that and putting it on the top to kind of make, I don't know, kind of a cool detail. So. What you have to do is make sure that the piece with the edge, if you're doing the same thing as me, goes over first so that it's inside. So I'm gonna fold this over, and then I'm gonna fold this over, and then I'm going to adjust it to make sure that it, can, it still is 12 by 12. And I think this is too small, yeah, it's not quite 12. A little bit more than 12 by 12, okay. I think that's gonna work. So now what you're gonna do is take some pins and pin down each side. Now you take your nicely pinned little pillowcase and we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and sew down each side with the pins, making sure that you do a little back stitching at each side and I was also gonna do a little bit of extra reinforcing right here where the fabric overlaps since that'll be opening and closing it might have a little bit more pull and I'm gonna do a seam allowance of probably three-fourths of an inch somewhere around there not really into measuring I'm not sure if you can tell but I know it's all gonna work out Now 
now we're gonna turn it right side out. And you might wanna use some scissors or the non-sharp end of a pencil to kind of poke the corners out. Okay, so there's our little pillow cover. So now all we have to do is stuff this guy inside. Let's see how it goes. And there you have it. That is how I made this little envelope pillowcase. Super simple, I've literally never made a pillowcase and it was super easy. And I also really like how the side with the little um, fringe, like I could kind of put it on this side if I wanted like a little line detail down the pillow, just kind of add something extra. You could even like add a few buttons or something or embroidery if you wanted. I don't know, you can make it really cute. But what we're going for is a little bit more simple to tone down the living room. So this is perfect. Now let's make like five more. <laughs> So this is how the room turned out. I really love the final look. I love how boho it is. I love all the new thrifted pieces that I was able to use. It looks really cohesive and calming and I am absolutely in love with these pillowcases that I made. I think they look so chic and so beautiful and really not like they were homemade. Like they look really good. So I'm really impressed that I could make this with some Walmart fabric. I love the convenience of being able to take them out because a lot of the pillows in these cases are seasonal. So like I got my Christmas tree pillow in there and when it's Christmas, I will just take it out. So I'm thrilled with how it turned out. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and watching this video of me just kind of uh, refreshing my space for spring and doing a fun little craft project and making some pillows. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next month for another video. Bye guys. Mm-hmm.